Hey, what's going on guys? Cola on Wheels here. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the pay structure for Coca-Cola United. Um, the three positions we're going to cover are delivery merchandiser, on-premise merchandiser, I'm sorry, uh, let me just rephrase that, small store delivery merchandiser, on-premise merchandiser, or delivery merchandiser, and then we're going to cover the large store merchandiser positions. So we're going to cover the trainee, uh, trainee position, and then we're also going to cover the just normal route position itself for each of these so starting out with the delivery merchandiser uh, for a small store this is what i actually do we deliver to gas stations cvs walgreens dollar journals pretty much all these smaller convenience stores um they pretty much are pay uh, we're all pay a day rate so i'm gonna let you know that up front every position i'm going to talk about in this video is paid a day rate i'll tell you the differences as we get into it the small store and on premise both are paid a day rate as trainees. Uh, I don't know why, but the small store is paid a slightly higher day rate when they're a trainee than the on premise when they're a trainee. So right now, from what I've been hearing and seeing uh, from other plants throughout my career here, I'm getting around the $165 day rate um, that is working five days a week. Uh, you're off every weekend from my from my understanding on the small store side on premise you may work a few a few saturdays every year or so depending on your plant but uh other than that yes it's pretty much the same so the day rate is around 165 for small store for on premise i'm not really sure what range to give you but uh it's it's a little bit slightly lower i don't want to give you guys the wrong answer on that one because i'm not too knowledgeable about it but that's just a ballpark estimate about maybe let's say 135 or something like that or maybe 140. the reason why is because the not the workload but as i guess as much as let's say the properties and different types of accounts you work who knows that's just what i've been what i've been seeing what i've been pro pretty much told so that's just an understanding of what the trainees and this is for a non-cdl or cdl holder so if you're a non-cdl you can still get hired with coca-cola just get your CDL permit, and they actually will send you to a CDL certified school uh, with within Coca Cola. So you're actually being trained by a Coca Cola employee still, and they're gonna pretty much get you certified to where you can take your uh, CDL road test. And once you pass that, you're eligible to get a route. So once the route comes open, you get to get a route, jump on pretty much a new pay structure, which I'm about to go into next. Um, it's the same exact thing for on premise. Uh, so let's say, hey, I'm making $165 per day right now, but I want to get a route, go get my license. I'm not CDL. I want to get my license. So I go through the school, get my license. Route comes open. Boom. You got that route. Now you're going to jump to a whole nother pay structure. Now, if you're a CDL trainee, someone who already has their CDL, you kind of have a little higher, uh, a little bit priority over the non-CDL trainees, depending on when you're hired. Because what that means is you can come in, learn the routes, you know, learn all the aspects like handheld, how to check in, uh, how to read everything as far as the product goes, learn rotation, simple merchandise skills. And then once you learn that, if there's a route open, you can be trained on that route and you can get a route. So that is just simple. It just depends on how hard you're willing to work on it. You know, if you come in, put forth the effort on either side of the, of the training position, whether you're non CDO or CDO. You have that pretty much that ability and that opportunity to get a route fast to get that pay structure. So we're gonna dump, jump into the route pay structure now, which is for non CD. I'm sorry for CDO delivery merchandisers. So you're either a trainee delivery merchandiser CDO or non CDO, or you're a delivery merchandiser CDO. That's pretty much it. Once you become a delivery merchandiser CDO, that's where you jump into a different. Hey, you're still paid by the day. You're not paid your $165 anymore. That pay goes from that $165. And this is for small store. I'm sorry, let me clarify that. This is for small store I'm talking about right now. I'll go to the on-premise as well. Uh, the uh, day rate basically goes from that $165 to around, but it's between $130 and $145. The reason why is because you're also paid a commission rate on top of this. So for it, it's either going to be a tier system where you're paid a certain a certain amount of, you know, it's pretty much cents, I guess you would say, on each case. And that can vary in the tier system. 
based off of what type of product you have on your truck. So if it's a high-tier product, like 20 ounces, which is what I'm putting up now, or water or anything, or energy drinks, that's a high-tier. And then, of course, you got low-tier, which is like 12 packs, 2 liters, case water. Then mid-tier is like hydros, like body armor and whatnot. So that that's the way the tier system works. Then there's the flat rate, where you're paid a specific uh, amount for each case on your truck, basically. So I, I'm going to just ballpark and say it's around 25, 30 cents per case on your truck. Plus your day rate of the, you know, the hundred thirty to one hundred forty five dollars per day, so that's how that works on the small store side. Uh, it's pretty much the exact same way on the on premise side. I know I didn't break down on premise, so the only difference between small store on premise is they do high schools, they do restaurants, they do uh, bars, they do hot. Uh, I say hospitals. I'm not sure, but they pretty much do anything that's more of that area. So country clubs, hospitals. Uh, schools, you know, bars and restaurants, anything like that. Even other companies that you that just have, you know, coolers and drinks. Some some construction companies may be in there. There's a lot they cover, so they're they are paid, like I said, a slightly lower day rate. So they're not in that hundred and thirty to hundred and thirty, I mean, hundred and forty five dollar day rate on top of their commission. But they are paid in some plants and areas, depending on what plant you're in. They're paid a decent amount on commission, and for the most part, I the from the people I've talked to, I've seen them on a tier system. But like I said, it could be either or, you know, within the plant that you're applying to. So don't just go in and expecting everything I'm saying to be true for every single plant. This is just telling me. This is me telling you guys what I know. So I don't want you guys to take it and run with it as if it's supposed to be true for every single plant. You know, um. So yeah, like I said, they they do they do a lot just like we do. Uh, I love small store. I've had a lot of thoughts of going on premise just because it's pretty much just something different. It's slightly different, but not too much different. They don't do as much as I'm doing here. Like in this video here, you see how I'm pretty much rotating all these bottles from the other cooler to the checkout cooler and whatnot. But they do they do a lot though, as far as like drop offs and stuff for the hospital stuff. Just imagine how much goes into hospitals and schools. It's crazy. So there's opportunity there also. Now for the last position we're gonna dive into, it is going to be the large store merchandiser. So large store merchandisers are completely non CDL. They drive their own cars, they're paid a day rate, usually around the one sixty five one sixty five per day, like small store trainees are paid. So as a trainee, you're paid about that amount. The only difference is you get mileage. Uh, you do get a pretty decent mileage uh, cents per mile. So it's not it's not horrible. It's not like the best, in my opinion. I think a lot of people enjoy it just because it's a steady flow of income. And if you get a good route that has a lot of drive time, you can you know make up a make up a lot of that uh, income and just mileage itself. Uh, so. Of course, you start off as a trainee there, just working different routes with people, just learning routes. And then, of course, you get a route, your day rate goes up. You don't get commission at all in this position, but your day rate does go up and you keep mileage, of course. So that's something I'm not too keen of. Those positions are widely available at Coca-Cola United. So, uh, like I said, if you're, if you're looking to apply for either of those positions, check out CocaColaUnited.com. That will give you an understanding of what each what positions are open in your area if even if they're available in your area they're mainly in the south so anywhere in the south like uh of course you have positions in alabama florida you know just there's a couple other states that i probably can name i just don't know i just know these are the main two that that are coca-cola united that's the way that's the company it's coca-cola united so don't just type in coca-cola jobs and expect to find Get the same results that I'm telling you you're going to get. It's not going to be the same, okay? Now, for the last thing I want to add on to all these positions, you are paid what we call extended overtime. Extended overtime is not like traditional overtime, though. It is more of a broken down overtime that it's hard to explain. Like, you get paid half time essentially, for overtime because you're paying the day rate. So it's hard for them to give you a traditional overtime. I know they probably could, you know, some way – if they just do some good calculate, but that's just the way it works in most day rate positions. You're paid extended overtime, so it's not it's not the worst. It's not the best. You know, the goal is anyway to get everything done as fast as possible, so you can go home every day, right? So if you have a heavy route, uh, which is that that's where the heavy 
the uh the pay day rate pay comes into play for small store drivers or on-premise drivers depending on how heavy your route is that's why that range is 130 dollars to 145 dollars per day plus wherever your commission is for that day that's how they get your check for five days okay but uh it just always depends but you can still get the extended overtime which is pretty much like half time of your overtime so just keep that in mind for all those positions too so you still can over earn overtime but it's not gonna be the exact same okay but that pretty much sums up the video. If you guys like the video, make sure you like and subscribe. And uh, follow me on TikTok also. My TikTok is, is in the link in my bio or the link on my uh, YouTube channel. So just uh, sh go over there, check out some of my other videos I may have posted on there that you don't have on YouTube. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave me some comments in the, uh, in the comment section, okay? Have a great day.